Did you miss your deadline to renew your Medicaid coverage? You can still send your completed annual review form to Healthy Connections Medicaid. You may be assigned to another health plan, but you can ask to come back to First Choice within 60 days of renewed Medicaid eligibility. It's your family. It's your choice. First Choice is the right choice. Renew and choose us. Visit selecthealthofsc.com slash renew to learn more. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino-style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day, lo. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW group. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. The greatest story ever told. Tonight we present Blessed Among Women, the second of five Christmas season dramas about the birth of that child who was to live the greatest life ever lived. Yet another child was to be born before him to herald his coming, and this child was to be John the Baptist. The town of Nazareth in Galilee a country downtrod by Romans and their ruling puppets. And here lives the maiden Mary in the home of her parents, Joachim and Anna. Now, to their house came a gentle carpenter, Joseph, who this day was uneasy in his new clothes and very mindful of his mission there as Mary's mother greeted him. Welcome to our house, sir. Peace be with you, good woman. I... I have come to... It isn't easy to say, is it, Joseph? No, it isn't. Well, wait here. My husband, Joachim, is just as uneasy as you are. I'll fetch him at once. Joachim? He's here. Come. Yes, yes. Ah, good day to you, Joseph. And uh, what brings you to our house? Joachim, I have come here to... Well... Well? Your daughter Mary. Yes? I would deem it the highest honor if your daughter and I were to be betrothed, sir. Well, I'm glad you got it out, finally. To be frank, I was more than a bit on edge myself. Joseph, my wife Anna and myself would be proud to have you for a son-in-law. Proud indeed. Anna and I are both happy it will be you. Thank you, Joachim. But now you would like to see your betrothed, eh? Well, we'll bring her in. Anna! Anna, bring our daughter in. Ah, they're coming now. Mary. Well, my dear, here he is. Your betrothed. Joseph. (gasps) Anna. Anna, what are you crying about? This is a great day, a day for celebration. Please, Mary. Joseph, just let me look at both of you for a moment. Bless you. God bless you both. Anna, what is it? Mary, Joseph, this is more than tears of joy. Anna, please. I don't know, Joachim. But there's something... something unusual... Different. What do you mean, Anna? The presence of God is here. In this room. But, my dear woman, God is everywhere. Not the same way. I don't know what to make of it. My own wife acting like a prophet. Feeling strange things. I I don't know. Joachim, the door. Yes, of course, the door. Is there anything to be startled about? I'll see who it is. If you have a... Elizabeth. 
Elizabeth, my dear, what a surprise to see you. Elizabeth, my niece Elizabeth, welcome, welcome. You couldn't have come at a better time. Elizabeth, our Mary is betrothed this very day. Mary. Mary, Mary, I'm so happy for you. And this is Joseph. May you be the right man for her, Joseph. Thank you, Elizabeth. You could have said nothing finer than that. Now come, all of you. The betrothal feast is ready, and now we'll have Elizabeth with us to celebrate. It'll be a wonderful feast. It will. It will, for I have great news of my own to tell you. Great news? What news? It can wait. The betrothal is important now. Well, Elizabeth, the betrothal feast is over. And I can see my honors bursting with curiosity. <laughs> Let's have your precious secret. Joachim, Anna, you know my husband Zacharias very well. You know how diligently he has pursued his duties as priest in the town where we live. Never asking much, never seeking to advance himself. Content to serve and let the service be his reward. That, Zacharias. But now in his turn... The greatest honor has come to him. What do you mean, Elizabeth? Zacharias is to go to the temple in Jerusalem to burn the incense there. Oh. Zacharias in the temple itself, burning the incense. Oh, Elizabeth, it is an honor, a great honor. We mustn't let that pass unnoticed. You, I can you think of you... Of course we'll go. Would I let such an honor to a kinsman of mine go unnoticed and unobserved? We'll go. Oh, thank you, Joachim. I knew you would. It'll be such a happy day for me. I'll want to share it with others. Oh, by all means, my dear. By all means. I knew it somehow, Elizabeth. What do you mean, Anna? This afternoon, almost at the very moment you arrived, I felt it. The strange presence of God. First the betrothal of Mary and Joseph, and now the news of Zacharias. Anna, about the girl... Mary? Yes. Well? When we're in the temple, I shall pray for her. I shall pray that she may be honored in her womanhood, as I am not. Elizabeth, please. One child. All I ever wanted was one child. Only for Zachariah's sake, that's all. I pray that Mary may have a child. I shall pray for it. Why not pray for yourself, Elizabeth? Myself. I'm an old woman now, Anna. No, Elizabeth, no. You're my aunt, Anna. But the difference in our ages is only months. No. I'm too old. So I'll pray for Mary. Pray for both of you, my dear. Oh, Anna. Anna, sometimes I do think that I could still be blessed with a child. But now I know how useless it is. You mustn't feel that way. Nothing is impossible if it's God's will. We'll go to Jerusalem. We'll go to the temple. We'll all pray for you. And for Mary. So this is the holy city. Yes, Joseph, Jerusalem itself. Whoever thought it would be traded like a sack of wheat, doled out to the tyrant Herod by a Roman conqueror, where is the glory of Israel now? One day it will be restored to us, Joachim. You really believe that, Zacharias? I do indeed. Zacharias, you're a priest, a learned man, while I'm nothing more than a carpenter. But I have thoughts of my own. And lately, I've been thinking of the Messiah. Who hasn't? With what's going on before our eyes. Some don't believe. 
He will come. He must come. If not in our time, then later. But he must come before this world destroys itself. It seems now that who destroys most rules most in this world. I never thought of it that way before. Zacharias, I would like to talk to you more about this, if I may. Of course, Joseph, but not now. After the ceremony at the temple, after I've performed my duties as priest. It's not just an empty promise. Of course not, Joseph. After the ceremony, we'll talk with the Messiah as much as you like, eh? Good. And now we must join the women and take them to the temple. Come. <laughs> Such beauty, Joachim. Have you ever seen anything like it? No man has. There is only one such temple in all the world. The gold, the ivory, the glistening marble, and the drapings blue as the blue sky. And to think, Joseph, that in a very few moments my own kinsman, Zacharias, will enter the innermost temple of God to burn the incense there. Now this must be the time. Yes, Zacharias is moving toward the door of the inner temple. How magnificently he walks. This incense do I offer to you, O Lord, in the sacred solitude of your holy temple. And this prayer do I make to you, Almighty One. That my wife, Elizabeth, should... <gasps> what? What is this presence here? I am the angel Gabriel. Lord, have I offended thee that I am visited thus? Fear not, Zacharias. For thy prayer is heard. And thy wife shall bear thee a son. And thou shalt call his name John. A son... And thou shalt have joy and gladness. And many shall rejoice at his birth. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord. And he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God. And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to prepare a perfect people for the Lord. But how shall I know this? How could it be? For I am an old man and my wife is also well along in years. I am Gabriel who stands in the presence of God and am sent to speak unto thee and to show thee these glad tidings. And behold, thou shalt be dumb and not able to speak until the day that these things shall come to pass, because thou believest not my words, which shall be fulfilled in their season. What is it, Joachim? Is there something wrong? I don't know. All the others are talking and looking toward the door of the inner temple. Is it Zacharias? He's been in there a long time. That's the thing, Joseph. He's been in there too long a time. There might be something wrong. Look, the door's opening now. There's Zacharias. He's so pale, trembling, and the wild, fearful look in his eyes. Is he ill? I've never seen him before like this. Joachim, look. Zacharias is falling. He's fainted. <laughs> Elizabeth, my dear, weeping can't help. Oh, Anna, why? What 
could he have done that he would be so strangely affected? To be struck dumb, not to speak one word, one single word. Please, my dear, Joachim and Joseph are in with him now. Maybe they'll have good news when they come out. Maybe it was something I did. Could I have offended the Lord, Anna? You, a finer person, never lived, Elizabeth. Don't you reproach yourself. Perhaps I trouble the Lord too much about a child. Elizabeth, the fault isn't yours. Mary, Mary, let this be a lesson to you. My dear child, whatever burden is placed on you by the Lord, accept it without complaint. Remember, Mary, remember. Yes, Elizabeth. Yes. Well, Joachim? Anna, you must take them both back home to their own town. What happened in there, Joachim? Nothing. Oh, Joseph, you tell me. Anna, he didn't say a word. <laughs> My dear. Anna, we must all do what we can to see that they both are brought home safely. If there's anything I can do to help, Joachim... Thank you, Joseph. But we are not a family to thrust our burdens on others. Why? Why? Elizabeth, you must contain yourself. And with this new affliction, Zacharias will need your help more than ever. You must be strong. Strong? I've borne my disgrace quietly till now. I've been strong. Is this my reward? To have my dear husband struck dumb in the waning years of his life? Is it? Elizabeth, please. If there was some reason... Now, don't start blaming yourself again, Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth, it could have been my fault. Oh, yours, Joseph? Joachim can remember before we went into the temple... How Zacharias and I talked of the coming of the Messiah. And he told me we could talk about it later after the ceremony in the temple. Yes, I heard it. And so? I have a feeling that in some way, his being struck dumb has something to do with that. Joseph, I dare say men have said that same thing many times before. What of it? I can't tell you, Anna. Except that I feel in some strange way, these things are all joined together. Too far-fetched, Joseph. Now we have work to do. We must take our kinfolk to their home. My work is done. Why not come home to rest? Is some word from Elizabeth? Why should you ask that today of all days? It isn't the first time in the last months I've asked. I feel sure that Zacharias will recover one of these days. But why you should have asked today? What's that to do with anything? I merely asked. A message did come today. Well, what did it say? You'd never believe it. But what did it say? I have the scroll here. Read it for yourself. I don't understand, women. I never will. A message from a relative takes on the proportions of a state secret. Why, Anna. I know what it says. Elizabeth. She's going to have a child. Oh, that's wonderful news. And Zacharias? It's in the letter, too. Still the same. At least he will have this to comfort him in his troubles. Uh, Mary, did you tell her? Yes, she knows. She must be very happy. After all, Elizabeth is her favorite. Yes. She just smiled a little. And then she uttered a prayer for the child. Of course. Anna. You're not going to say it again, are you? Have you noticed since I first mentioned it? She was always different from other girls. Yes. So quiet. And in a way, you always feel she's thinking fine thoughts. Noble thoughts. I wonder, Anna, what does she think about? Do you know? She doesn't tell me. And I never pry. You're right. Oh, such a fine girl. I hope Joseph is worthy of her. You needn't worry about that, Joachim. Mary and Joseph. Somehow the two seemed linked together for all time. But now where is she? I, I'd like to talk to her. 
Oh, she's not in the house, I know that. Oh, I don't want to know where she isn't, but where she is. After all, there are things to talk over, marriage plans. She should be back soon. It's almost mealtime. I suppose it can wait until mealtime, then. Ah, Joseph. Is Mary with you? Why, no. We thought she might have stopped by at your carpenter shop to bring you home for the meal. Well, I haven't seen her, Joe. I come not all day. I can't understand it. Anna! Anna, Joseph hasn't seen her either. He, he hasn't? Oh, then I don't know. I'm worried. And you think I'm not? Go to her room. But she isn't there. Go anyhow. Maybe you'll find some indication, something. Yes, Joe, I can. I'll go out looking for her. After all, it's almost dark now. She shouldn't be out alone. I can't understand it. She's never done this before. Joachim. Joachim. Hannah, what is it? Gone. Her clothes are gone. Mary's left. Left? Where? Why? I don't know. Oh, Joachim. Now, now, don't cry, Anna. We'll find her somewhere, someplace. Won't we, Joseph? <laughs> Zacharias, it's late. Time to get to your bed. Oh, Zacharias, if only I could read your thoughts. If only you could speak. No. No, if it's such an effort, you mustn't try. Our child will speak, though. I know it. And maybe someday, Zacharias... Visitor, so late. No, no, Zacharias, I'll see. Mary. Elizabeth. No, child, I'm all right. The babe within me stirred suddenly. Blessed art thou among women. Elizabeth, you know, somehow, I know. But tell me, Mary, tell me. How did it come to you? Alone. I was alone, Elizabeth, when the voice came to me. Hail, Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father, David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. How shall this be? The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also the Holy which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age. She who was called barren. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord. Be it unto me according to thy word. Hmm. 
Mary. Mary. And when I greeted you, the same words came from my lips. Blessed art thou among women. Oh, child, child, what will be in store for you? I've already said, be it unto me according to his word. Come in, child, come in. You shall stay with me. I shall care for you. For our children are bound together by the will of God and the words of God. Come in, child. Did you miss your deadline to renew your Medicaid coverage? You can still send your completed annual review form to Healthy Connections Medicaid. You may be assigned to another health plan, but you can ask to come back to First Choice within 60 days of renewed Medicaid eligibility. It's your family. It's your choice. First Choice is the right choice. Renew and choose us. Visit selecthealthofsc.com slash renew to learn more. With Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, We've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.